in taping you and putting your and, and, and putting your conversation out here for everybody to know. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. I don't know this young lady. This is between you two. But then he wants to include me. And I'm not included in this situation. And then he wants to, you know, ask me what I've done, you know, in, in the minority community. That's well documented what I've done. So what is the impact of all this? Let's bring in Jerome Williams, a retired NBA player and Global Sports Ambassador, and David Cornwell, sports attorney and partner from Gordon and Reese LLP. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, let me start with you, Counselor. Magic Johnson did not have to do this interview. This is not about him, as he says. But what value do you think it provided hearing from him? Well, Magic Johnson, the basketball player, has another triple and double. Irvin Johnson, the successful and dignified businessman, rebutted uh, Donald Sterling's racist rant by, by his mere presence. And, you know, it's almost unfortunate that uh, Magic had to do the interview to, he ended up almost dignifying Sterling by responding to him. But Magic made the point that he is a black leader. He had, had to respond, and he certainly responded and knocked the ball out of the park. He, he made it clear. He's right. Sterling is wrong. Jerome Williams, uh, not only a player for a long time, you were VP of the Players Union. Uh, in terms of how the players will see any chance of saving Donald Sterling in the league, when they hear that he didn't apologize to Magic Johnson but asked him to go on a TV show, does that suggest that? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, th that, that's going to resonate with the players. And, uh, you know, to say that Donald Sterling has, has really, you know, set himself up for disaster is, is an understatement. I mean, here's a guy who's now we've heard from Magic from his point of view and what happened and what took place. And it just paints this picture of, of a guy who, who, who lies, who, do, who isn't very honest, uh, who's trying to wiggle out of a, a hole he just can't get out of. Um, it's very unfortunate. Um, I really do uh, side with Magic Johnson just praying for this man, this individual who, you know, obviously has some issues uh, that, uh, that, that people have known about. And I, again, just reiterate, you know, the players' solidarity and, and uni unifiedness with staying with uh, the commissioner on this issue of, of being banned for life. Whom to agree with is somewhat easy in this situation, the way it sets up right now. What to do about it? gets a little bit more complicated, and I say that, David Cornwell, because you had the owners meet yesterday, but they then pretty quickly adjourn and say, we'll meet again next week. No vote. What does that indicate? I think that the owners recognize that we are in the kind of highlight of the NBA season, and the more they do about Donald Sterling, the more they take the focus away from the game. So I don't think that we're actually going to have a final vote on Sterling's status as an owner until after the NBA Finals. I certainly wouldn't do it if I were the NBA owners. I wouldn't take the attention away from these great playoffs and put it on this man. He doesn't deserve the focus. Okay, a uh, counterpoint that I'll put to you, Jerome Williams. Donald Sterling doesn't deserve the attention, but the issue does. But making a statement about what is tolerated and who we are as a people and a culture as reflected by what we respect and make out of bounds in the NBA does. So do you think that the owners should be acting now? Well, I, I definitely feel as though they should act, but it, it's a double-edged sword. I mean, the NBA playoffs should be getting all the attention. Uh, Magic said it best. He, you know, us taking our, our, our time for Donald Sterling and away from this great game that has been built in these such exciting playoffs. I mean, last night's game with OKC and LA Clippers was a phenomenal finish. And, but here this morning, we're talking about Donald Sterling. I think that it is uh, playing a major role in these playoffs because race in this country has always been a, a, a defining uh, moment, a defining uh, conversation uh, for generations. And it seems that this, you know, 80-year-old man has, has definitely uh, put his stamp on, on this mark of, of this great game uh, because of his uh, comments that were recorded. And it's really put us, put us in, a, in a bad spot, I believe. All right, Jerome Williams, David Cornwell, I appreciate the perspective this morning. We'll all be watching the games, of course, and they have been awesome. But this issue looms large, and the action on it's going to be important as well. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, now.